All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm doing this video to help out someone who's having an argument about what the bit rate uh, cap is for Twitch. Uh, is there one? Is there not one? Does it matter if you're a partner, an affiliate, or a brand new person that just got an account today? Uh, I'm here to answer. I'll give you the TLDR. No, no, actually, we won't. We'll save that for the end. I'm going to say yes and no. <laughs> and I'll, I'll tell you why. Both are actually correct, but not for the reasons you think. So this is Twitch's own encoding page of recommendations or whatever. Uh, it was written long ago by Night Dev. I don't know who's reiterated this because uh, since Night Dev wrote this, it's changed a bit. Um, it's still closely the same, but also it's on a different web page because the blog is newer than the website. Uh, so this UL used to be a lot longer and they shortened down everything and I'm guessing installed a new blog or some CMS that's easier to deal with. Anyways, that's not the whole point of this. Uh, anyways, I'm here to tell you that uh, the first portion of no, there's not a cap is that you can do over 6,000 kilobytes per second. Uh, it's almost unlimited, but not. Uh, also, what you see on this page is fucking terrible. Don't follow any of this bullshit. Um, literally, when this first came out and I was sent the link, uh, and someone was like, what is this stupid shit? Uh, I was just flat out like, dude, I don't know. I'm guessing whoever wrote this, uh, and I figured out who wrote it because it was at the bottom of the page, um, literally just Googled what to use for video resolution bitrate and went to like videohelper.com or whatever that one website is uh that usually pops up whenever you look in encoding stuff for you know video encoding that doesn't relate to streaming uh like if you're doing uh adobe premiere or sony vegas or some other random software davinci or something like that um you, you could use these with that because that's a whole different ball field uh, and I literally think that's where he got the information from and then it got on the website and it just stayed there because you know you read a blog and then you just you never look back at it uh, you link to it and that's about it but the information could still be wrong now how you actually get your bitrate for those wanting to know since this is all wrong I'm not just gonna leave you hanging you do your resolution width times that by the height times that by the frames per second and times that by the quality multiplier equals bits once you have bits you can take bits divided by 1000 and that gives you kilobytes or in this case kilobytes per second uh, and then generally what i do is i round that up to the nearest 100. now the quality multiplier the qm that i have here uh, that's usually going to range between 0 0.8 or sorry 0 0.08 not 0 0.8 uh, and 0.13 um, these metrics can change based on what you're encoding with CPU or GPU uh, and what that encoding is set at. Like if you're doing an ultra fast, you're going to need to ramp this up um, because that's going to look like shit. Uh, if you're doing what I'm doing with a slow preset, you can go down uh, or in the case of a game that doesn't really have anything changing on screen. Let's say you're playing Hearthstone or another card game that really not much is happening visually. You can go down to a 0.8 and not really have to worry about it. I mean, there's a ton of streams of League of Legends where they're using just terrible settings and it looks fine. It's because visually nothing is happening. Um, so for a 720-30 stream, let's say for Call of Duty, Fortnite, or, you know, a crappy PUBG... <laughs> Uh, you want to use 3,600. Uh, that's generally a safe area to be in as far as quality-wise goes. Um, and that leaves you 120 kilobytes per frame. Now, a video is only just made up of pictures, or in this case, we call them frames. Every 30 seconds for this particular situation here, uh, we've got a frame coming every 30 seconds, which means that if we take 3,600 divided by 30, we get the 120 per frame. Uh, think of that kind of like a picture. If your pictures were only 120 kilobytes per picture, like on your phone, 
you'd probably be a little bit pissed. However, video encoding works a bit differently, so you don't have to worry too, too much about that. Uh, also remember that frames per second and kilobytes per second work hand in hand. Remember, per second and per second. So they are tied to each other. Uh, for a 1080p stream at 60 frames per second, you basically need 16,200 kilobytes per second. The lowest I would ever go in that situation is 12,000, but I would want a good preset going on, a good slower preset happening. Um, now this this doesn't relate to encoding video in like Sony Vegas or anything like that. I mean, you could still use this metric and you wouldn't be wrong to use it, but you can use lower because it's not time sensitive. So it can take longer to encode. Uh, I'll get into that in here in a second. So in this situation where we're doing the correct bit rate, uh, we're doing 720 at 30 frames per second, 3,600 kilobytes per second. We're getting 120 bits per second or per frame. If we do 60 frames per second, we would need 7,200 or else we start losing quality. Uh, and again, we'd be at 120 for per frame uh, kilobytes. Now, what Twitch is telling us to do is 5,000 here for 72060. So what that means is we're actually losing quality here. 5,000 would be 83.3. And for 108060, we need 16,200. They're telling us 6,000. Uh, they're smoking crack is what they're doing. You would literally have to only ever play a card game in order to keep something looking good with that. I mean, you might be able to squeeze that off with League of Legends, because I, like I said, that doesn't take much. But if you're going to play Call of Duty, oh, God, it's going to look fucking nasty. You would you would have to rely very fucking heavily on doing CPU encoding and using the slowest preset. You'd have to be in at least, I would say, the fast to slow range to keep it from looking like ass. It's just basically like Minecraft soup. Now, here's the thing about encoding. If you're standing still, there's no change. There's no pixelation. If you're turning, you're going to see that pixelation. If your bit rate and your uh, preset aren't correct. Um, then additionally, um, I don't know what's going on with the rest of them. I'm really tired right now. So with me going slow, I can actually go with a lower bit rate than what most people would. That Like, let's say they're on fast i can do a much lower bit rate at the same exact game the same exact resolution because i've got these these other quantifiers within the encoding that are happening and that's kind of like where this comes into play and these wrong settings that twitch has on here if i'm in premiere think of that like encoding at or below placebo i've got a thread ripper with 16 core 32 thread I'll show you that bad boy right now. And even I can't do placebo. Um, at least I, I can't game and stream in plus, at placebo. Best I can hope for is slower. But I, I stick to slow because, you know, I need some extra overhead room for just doing different shit. And I have noticed that the stream, if I stick with slower, it does tend to look a little choppy at times when a lot of visual shit happens. So I just stick to the slow. But anyways, uh, that's basically the rundown on that. Now, here's the caveat where, yes, there is a cap, is if I'm on Twitch and I do too slow of a preset, uh, or if I do a slower preset, like let's say I go to slower, I can't do 8,000 bit rate. But if I go to ultra fast, I, could, I haven't tested this, but I know that the slower or the quicker you go, the more bit rate you can use. I have no doubt in my mind that if I go to ultra fast, I can do 20,000 uh, kilobytes per second. Now, there is one issue with NVIDIA encoding, which uh, I've seen before, where the using over, I think, 7,000 bit rate caused the person to drop to 4,000 or 3,000 bit rate. I think that's a bug within slobs or this here. Um, we were going to test that theory. Uh, because you know, clearly I can do it. I mean, right here on Twitch, I'm doing 7,213 kilobytes at this particular frame. And I'm doing 48 frames per second. I'm doing 1,704 by 720. Uh, and that's verified right here. 
So you can see HLS streaming, Jollyrific Ultra Wide HD stream, which you can see down here is my title. This is actually grabbing the actual video file coming from the server. You can see the timestamp there matches the timestamp down here, the 720p with 50. Uh, this resolution is 720. It's just 720 ultra wide. It's downscaled from uh, 2560 by 1080. Uh, the frames are off by two, but I mean, that doesn't really fucking matter for this. What matters here is that we're looking at 7.4 megabytes per second. And that's what the stream was set at. Uh, that's what the container file that's streaming from Twitch is showing to me. That's what this output is showing me. Uh, roughly. This, this is not 7,400, but CBR is rarely ever uh, a constant, even though it's constant bitrate. Uh, there are variations because you have IP and B frames, and you have your keyframe, and it's comparing the keyframe to the other frames and adding data to those frames to change what you're seeing. I know it's a lot to take in. You don't need to know that shit. I'm just, the basic principles here is you can do over 6,000. And the only time that that's incorrect is the slower you go on here. I'm guessing if I was able to do placebo, I probably couldn't go over 6,000. But show me one person that can do placebo without having 100% uh, CPU load. And uh, we can say technically 6,000 is the bitrate limit. Okay. Everyone savvy? Everyone good? Good, good. Um, if you need proof of this, I literally can just go to my stream. You can see my name here. Uh, if you've got any additional Twitch questions that I can help out with or help you fight a battle, you know that you are winning, uh, but you just need that extra little oomph of, hey, guess what Jolly said? Guess what Jolly showed on this video? Then uh, I can help you out with that. If you're wrong, I'm, I'm going to call you out, though. So just, just let that be known. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully this clears things up for you guys and you're good to go. Oh, by the way, the uh, affiliate um, partner and brand newbie, that doesn't matter there. Never has. Uh, I didn't get an affiliate until just recently. Um, so back in the day, whenever I was a nobody, uh, I was still streaming at like 10,000 kilobytes per second and 8,000 kilobytes per second. So that clears everything up. All right, we're at the 12-minute mark and I need to get off here. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching.